You're tuned in to Nonfiction Radio, New Jersey's number one online radio station. Listen live at nonfictionradio.com or download the Nonfiction Radio app on your phone or Android device. So, um, uh, um, welcome to the show. I have the cast, some of the cast from Cold Summer web series, um, Jersey, a Jersey show. Shout out to all of us in Jersey. Jersey's popping. Fetty Wap ain't the only one that put Jersey on the map. <laughs> Jersey was popping before that, even when he was in diapers. Um, so I have Takia who plays Tags, Jamar Million, Million who plays Jamar, and the Unk is played by Ja. So y'all welcome to the show. Thank you, Thank Thank you for you. joining and catching me. up too. Um, but tell me how the series got started. What was the um, inspiration for it? The writer and all of that. Cold Summer inspired, written, and um, directed by Daddy Love. Um, Daddy Love is the owner of Pure Shot Studios, located in Eatontown, New Jersey. He's originally from Neptune, New Jersey. Okay. And um, the writer, there's actually two writers. The second writer came on after episode one. But the main writer, her name is Sharice Richardson. Mm -hmm. She goes by Sha the Writer. Um, she went to school on a basketball scholarship and studied English. Okay. So she has a background in English. All right. Um, the show pretty much came about because this was something that um, Daddy Love, I'm going to just call him Love because I tell him all the time, um, you're not my daddy and <laughs> I'm going to just call him Love. <laughs> you know, that's a topic within <laughs> itself. Why do we call our men Big Daddies? Uh, <laughs> there is something wrong with that, but uh, it's just something about it. I don't know, but anyway, go ahead. Um, but it came it came upon Love's heart that he wanted to film a show about the local area, not just one area in particular, but bringing a community together and just being able to put Jersey on a map in a positive manner. Okay. There are other web series and stuff out there, but I'm sorry, Cold Summer is taking the top from the Jersey web series. We, we, we still in the show right now. No, okay. We have like over 30,000 viewers. Within a week, our very first episode. 100,000, that's right. All right, that's what's up. Within a week, our first episode met 5,000 views. First episode at Landon Drop. Right now, that first episode is at 100,000? No, the first episode. No, 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 no. 30, 38,000, I think. No, 40-something thousand. 40 something thousand. 40 something thousand. Every day. Every uh, day, it, it uh. just keeps growing. It just keeps growing. So we're super excited about it. Um, but the show itself is pretty much based off of... Jamar. <laughs> okay. You just got out. Yeah, I just did 12 years. I yeah. came home. Uh, my dad got murdered. Mm -hmm. Then, unfortunately, my girl ended up getting kidnapped. Well, first, they stole the money that my dad mm -hmm. left me. Then they killed my, my girl. So I was like, wondering, you know... Why it take him so long to go find that money? You kept talking about the money. Like, I got to go get this money. I'm like, if he don't, this nigga don't just go get this money. What? Well, I'm saying, you know, I had to spend time with my girl and stuff first. No, you know niggas go get the I mean? money first. Nah, I had to go get the sex scene in first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. while I was doing the sex scene, they was robbing the house. He just uh -huh. did this 12 Oh, that was years when in. they did that. Yeah. Okay, I didn't put two and two together. Okay, okay. He just okay. did this 12 years Right. Day. He yeah. needed to get his yeah. nut off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was trying to get my nuts out. Okay. At least he approved. <laughs> you know, some of them 12 years, you get you a little inmate boyfriend. I guess he ain't had one of them. And well, that's Ooh. good. That's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> we don't condone that. I'm sorry. All right, so go ahead. But, um, you know, basically he just trying to find his way. And, you know, he, he looking for some redemption. Mm -hmm. he, he trying to get some get back on everybody that did him wrong and all of that. You know what I mean? He took away everything that was special to him. His father, his money, his girl. So now it's just like the gloves is off. Forget about probation, parole, all yeah, that. Yeah, but didn't you kill somebody's brother? Yeah, but I didn't know it was his brother. Like, oh, my okay. man Harry, you know, the dude I grew up with, we slept in the bed, head and foot, told me it was 100 bands in there. So, you know, the way we was rocking, I was going in to get that. But in all actuality, Casualty I think he, he might have had some personal beef with him. Mm -hmm. So he knew if I went in there to get the money and the money wasn't in there, I was going to kill him. So he basically set me up to go in there, get mm -hmm. the money, and I ended up killing the dude for nothing. But that was Pyrex, brother. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, I mean, how did you guys find the the person who started this series? You just mm -hmm. went into well, the audition? actually, my man from South Carolina called me. He like, yo, my man Love, he doing this web series, but he need 
somebody to play this part. Okay. So I'm like, man, I ain't really got time. But what is it that he needs somebody to do? He was like, yo, it's the main character. Oh, that's right up my alley. Mm -hmm. Because I'm like, ain't got time. Nah, because personally, I just did eight years. I came home in 2007. And everything that he was telling, once love finally did call me, everything he was telling me was my life anyway. That so happens. So all it was, that was, happens. It that, was just that definitely me happens. living my life. Right. Right. So that's what's up. So tell me about your character. Well, Tex, she came upon creation because originally love had a casting. I didn't even know love at this point. Um, the girl that plays my sister. Tags and Buzzer, <laughs> we are the tag team duo of comedic relief. Along with Unk, putting mm -hmm. us all together in the room, it's just crazy, okay? We do nothing but laugh and joke all the time. But my sister, we had just did a play with Dunbar Repertory Company called The Wait, Buzzer. is that your real sister? No. Oh, okay. okay she I looks got like you. she possibly could. <laughs> it's still under debate. She refuses to do the DNA <laughs> Okay. <test>. <laughs> <laughs> But no, um, we had just finished a play called Butterfly Confessions written by um, Yeti Young with the Dunbar Repertory Company. And um, she said, did you see Love posted a cast? And I was like, who's Love and what cast? And what are you talking about? Mm -hmm. So I was like, well, send it to me. She screenshots it to me. We go to the table read. We're sitting at, the, well, I got there first. So we're sitting at the table read and um, we went over the cold summer synopsis and what the plan was. And he was like, so how y'all feel about it? So from that point, he cast the roles. He said, this is who's what's going to be. And he was like, I'm not really sure what we got for y'all yet, but I'm going to let you know. By the next table read, he was like, y'all going to be the tag team duo. Y'all going to be the booster twins. Everybody comes to y'all for the information. Whatever they want, y'all got it and y'all bring it. And that's exactly what we do. We Every bring the hood lab. got some boosters. Every <laughs> hood you know got a set of boosters. So me and my sister, we ain't no joke. Um, but that's how I came a part of this production. Sharice and I, we actually um, worked together back in the day, and we're from the same area. Mm -hmm. um, I joke with her because her grandmother used to live across the way from me, and her grandmother was the was the village gossip. I was going to say, either she was the mean lady <laughs> or the, or the one that called the cops on yep, everybody. Everybody <laughs> know her gram. So, you know, you just build relationships with people. Right. And I think this was an excellent opportunity because... Acting is what I do. Um, I constantly do local and community theater. You know, this is my dream. It's my passion where I can't do it full time because money gets in the way. Mm -hmm. But it, it's been a challenge for me. Um, you know, we talked about it a little bit. Um, I'm a 230 pounds now, but I was almost 414 pounds. So even with me being a big girl, Gabba Ray stole my spotlight. Uh oh, uh oh, she's coming for you, Gabba yeah, Ray. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm coming, Gab. I'm coming. I'm That's saying, right. You know, so she got. I'm the proud of myself. Movie. I said her name right. <laughs> I was like, am I gonna say this? Yeah. You know, she. You know, she got the movie. Um, Precious. You know, I, I could have been her. I could have been Precious. <laughs> oh, it's coming, but it's coming it's coming mm -hmm. i'm definitely getting my time to shine and as long as people keep watching and keep subscribing and keep viewing i'm going to get it sooner than later that's right that's <laughs> so, right i love your positive energy i yeah. think it's great and um you know talk about a little bit about your struggle because oh, yeah. we did you know i, I asked you did it affect you mm -hmm. um just a lot of young ladies out there going through that so yeah um as far as um personally I've I always been a positive, bubbly personality. Like, I never saw anything wrong with being big because this is who I was. I was always a big girl. You know, I was taught to love myself. My mom always told me I was beautiful. It's nothing wrong with you. And I was like, no, I don't like my arms. I don't like the way this looks. I would never wear skirts. And then, not only, you know, being a big girl, but I'm a woman of God and I'm church and I serve in a ministry. I go to the campus of Macedonia located in Neptune, New Jersey. Okay. With the great pastor. Praise God. Miles. Hallelujah. No, but I sing on a praise team there and, you know, just for look-wise, a lot of times they're like, wear skirts, don't wear pants. I'm more comfortable. I'm, I'm a pants person. I'm not mm. a skirt person. And ain't nobody trying to look up my skirt. I'm here to sing to the glory of God. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I struggle with trying to just find the appropriate looks and being able to be comfortable in the skin that I am and being able to do what I do for the people. Because what I like to do is make people laugh, make people smile, and just please people every single day. Yes. You know, it's nothing better than being happy and being soulful. Yes. You know, because if you walk around miserable and sad about your situation, I didn't see nothing wrong with being fat. It's fat people around me my whole life. It's nothing wrong with it. I ran track like the next person. 
I tried out. I auditioned for everything. Anybody that I went to high school with, they'll be like, you know, one thing about Kia, she never, she let nothing stop her. Mm -hmm. And I didn't. You know, I was highly motivated and I stayed motivated and I just keep my trust in God because he keeps me through it all. What made me go through the procedure of actually getting the surgery was a couple of other people in my family got it. I said I could do this on my own. I did. I got a friend. <laughs> He's an entertainer. Um, his name is Bolo. He had a fitness competition called Lost It With Bo. So I was like, all right, I'm going to pay my money. I'm real competitive. So being that I'm so competitive, I was like, I'm going to win this. So I was pretty much running around. Everybody seen me who knew Bo saw me like, yo, she doing it, doing it. On my own with his weight loss competition, by myself, I lost 35 pounds. So... Yeah, so I'm like, I could do it on my own. I'm capable, I'm capable. But the fact about doing it on your own is staying motivated. And once I did it, I was like, all right, I'm good. I'm right, you could do I'm it, good. right. Well, That's let me just share with you. It's not just, you know, what people don't understand when you have um, something that people can look at you and think that they can get to you. They're going to use it. So they mm -hmm. might think that's your weakness. It's the same thing with thin girls. Because everybody wants to say, oh, you're so skinny. Or you lost weight. I fluctuate. And yeah. based on if I'm stressed, I don't eat. A lot of people eat when they're stressed. Mm -hmm. When I'm stressed, I don't. So if anybody thinks that that's a weakness, they're going to go, you know, go after you for right. it. But everybody has flaws. You know what I mean? And if you don't, I mean, you accept who you are. You might want to make changes with who you are. It doesn't mean you're not confident. It right. doesn't mean you lack self-esteem because you want to change something. If, you, if you're happy with yourself, it doesn't matter. That's but you right. know that there's things that you got to work on. But that's just for y'all that's always trying to, you know, zero in on somebody. You know, mm -hmm. little girls, we go through it too. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Especially <laughs> now, you know, BBWs, we're like... <laughs> I like my girl. Yeah, so, yeah, so just know that. We go through the same thing, just opposite. Yeah. And we got Unk over there. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. So tell me about your character. Well, um, Jamal, he dates my daughter uh -huh. that just got kidnapped. Okay. Um, I used to run with the, with crew and Can you see him in my... It's, it's, the thing came out. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Yeah, I used to run with uh, a guy called Cream. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, he's okay. the, uh, I guess he's the center of the show, but he gets murdered. And right. His and, father. Right. Me and him used to be running partners. So. Oh, that's why yeah. he came to you like that. Okay. Yeah, so he got, he got murdered and, um, you know, I left the streets alone. I just be getting drunk and I don't want nothing to do with the streets no more. So. Mm -hmm. But then a young boy comes home. He's dating my daughter. So me and him hook up and, you know, I, we really, nobody knows what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. That's the way we're doing it. It's right. like everything's improv. Like we make it up as we go, episode after episode. Mm -hmm. So you there's know, a base everybody's everybody's character is developing as we go. Okay. There's okay. a base storyline, but the characters continue to, to develop each episode because mm -hmm. the writer and the director refuses to tell us what's going on. <laughs> so when we walk on the set, we find out what we shooting today. Right, right, right. <laughs> I need you to do this and I need you to do that. Well, okay, we do it and it'll come out dope, right? But it's always, uh, I like that, but we got to do one more take. One more, <laughs> one more take. take. Well, it's always, always like that. that. Yeah, that's, it's always like that. One I more mean, take, one more take. And now the new thing is every episode, somebody got to die. Mm, so we don't oh, know wow. if we get killed off this yeah, week and next week, yeah. but somebody going to die. Gonna go, <laughs> gonna die. <laughs> so, I mean, that's why you got to give it your all when you get that scene. Fun, that five minutes, that got to be the best five minutes in the world. Because yeah, yeah. you never know. It's definitely a that's a part, a part of, of the acting. I'm an actor. Um, and I produce films as well. So, and then, and yeah, that's what it's about. Bush. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, I do. <laughs> yes. So, um, so what what do you want to see with your all of you? What do you want to see come out of the project? And what you said that it's different than the other Jersey web series. So, what way is it different? I, I think the way we're a little bit different is because we are a group of people who we communicate, we attempt to communicate with one another in a positive manner. Mm -hmm. We we give each other constructive criticism and we work on making it better. And we selling this show like no other, like cold summer, okay? Okay. We got t-shirts, four 
four gals, Slurpees and subs. Like, but the, the purpose is, the goal is, we want, cold summer ain't for everybody, but we want to put cold summer on the map and we want to do Jersey well. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody, we got people in Atlanta looking at cold summer. I got people overseas looking at cold summer. L.A., um, everybody, Virginia, the whole Jersey Shore all the way down. Everybody's watching Cold Summer, and that's the thing. You either gonna like it or you gonna hate it. It's, it's your choice, but keep watching because we love it. Aww. If you want to, we are in the studio with. Listen live at nonfictionradio.com. It's not a chance. She's hot. Okay, <laughs> so I like that song harder. Thank you. Um, how long you been doing this thing here? First of all, I'd like to say thank you for having me. Yes. I've uh, been doing this quite some time. Started my company in 2002, but underground for like 13 years now. I've really? My whole life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what inspired you? What inspired me to yeah. do this? Yeah, because you're saying your whole life. Were you in a music family? Uh, did you go to school and you came home and you liked the nursery rhymes? You was at home all, all the time, you know, singing uh, I forgot the nursery rhymes. <laughs> Damn. Um, honestly speaking, that's a great question. It, yeah. I really wasn't inspired by anything. I just, like, at four or five, I started writing very early. Okay. Know, before I even knew what I was actually doing. Mm -hmm. So it's really just like a gift because I've been doing it forever. But my family is musically inclined. My family is very much musically inclined. Okay, so that's where it probably that's came, where came from. from. Definitely. I want to thank you for the gift of the first time me having... um. Do say. Do say. Yeah, that's Duce. funny that you never. Yeah, I've okay. never had it before. Yeah, I'm glad you. Enjoy Thank you. It. It's Christmas. She came and brought me a nice gift. Yes. And I'll be leaving and going <laughs> <laughs> shopping <laughs> sideways. Like it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> Chances are, I always love to have a good time, and I love the people. So it's good. 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 It's just what? something that I've always loved to do. I'm an avid reader, mm -hmm. so I read a lot, and uh, I just love the music aspect, and I love the business part of it. But to be quite honest with you. You know, I've always written songs, so I've been writing songs for a very long time. I just got a clue to start to, to decide to do my company in 2002 because okay. I thought, why not me? If Master P could sell music out of a trunk, yeah, if Puffy and Jay Z could do it out of the trunk. At That's that time, me selling books out of the trunk. Yeah, at that I time, can relate. I, I'm telling you. I said I'm gonna just. We just gonna do everything from the ground up and that's how the company why not was birthed business, okay right you know i see you have is this your this is my lo that's, logo that's yeah very, I pay attention. <laughs> yes, yes i pay attention this is the logo on my hand so i like to when people ask me i like to let people know that i'm actually a walking commercial because i never want to not be able to talk about why not which is my baby mm -hmm. so that's why it's on my body and on my business partner as well he has the one logo on his hand as well okay but yes definitely it's on my jacket so you starting your own little sorority fraternity thing going on well, <laughs> right everybody got, hey when they sign to your label stamp well that that would be a for, you know obviously that would be a person's choice but, right um, right definitely yeah 13 years 13 yeah. years for this 15 years for the company you know what i mean 13 years really out of the trunk so, so how did you come up with the name why not yeah when it, why not represents winning over time so it's like win that over was. time win over time winning over time why not the acronym w-i-n-o-t is winning over time because oh nothing happens, overnight. nothing happens overnight so what happens is with a lot of artists uh they like to start things they don't really want to see it through because mm. the process is tough mm -hmm. and what happens is the process could make some people want to punk out of the game absolutely but i'm just not built like that so i feel like if if, if i have this thing that i really want to do and um i know that it can work because i've seen it done through a lot of people before me right, right. I think my lane is it belongs to me so i feel like it could be a million other people out there doing what i'm doing but they won't be able to execute like me because we're all who we are right so we bring our special element to the game from whether it's your name your aura your style whatever it may be how you present yourself when you walk in a room everything is based off marketing class and elegance and people know this uh -huh. you know they, yeah. they know this when they meet you so i just feel like as a representation from my mother because of how she was and my family and what i've been embodied with I want, and even my team, you know what I'm saying? You always, you're not only going to see me move a certain way, 
you're gonna see the people I move with move a certain way. You understand what I'm saying? Everybody has a certain level of dignity. I'm just a woman out here <laughs> stepping into my womanhood, loving yeah, my life right. where it's at right now, yeah. enjoying this path because it's beautiful. Doors are starting to open up left and right. Yeah. Part is doing great online right now. It's okay. popping up everywhere. I'm, I'm having a lot of great responses. You know, I have a mixtape coming out. It's Hidden Figure the Mixtape that's mm-hmm. slated to come out officially February. It's already out in the streets some places because mm-hmm. I just... I just, I'm a hustler like that, so I already started moving it. But it's going to be online yeah. probably within the next couple of months. I say February, around Valentine's time. Um, what are your future, not so future, near future, near new projects that you have coming out? Well, the next project that I have coming out is, of course, Hidden Figure the Mixtape. The reason mm-hmm. why I chose that title is mm-hmm. based off a lot of people know me from doing the music, but a lot of people don't know me because they haven't seen me. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. Um, they haven't seen me. So the, I thought the movie title was very important and it spoke to me because that's really what I am in North. People know, they know the Lady Lux. They know the different artists that comes out of North, but they don't really know chances are because okay. they haven't had, gotten a chance to see me on this platform. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? A lot of people know me just being in North Jersey Fry, White Castle, on Elizabeth Avenue, mm-hmm. grinding it out. You understand what I'm saying? And being in different states. Right. But the platform is now changing for me. So I think it's very important for people to know, like, you know, okay, hit a figure. We, we get it. People who know me, they like, oh, right, okay. we get it. Because she's been doing this yeah, for a cause, minute. Yeah, because, yeah, yeah. It's like a, a secret weapon. It is. Being it is. that it's Christmas... Am I gonna get a gift? Oh yeah, definitely. You're gonna get an album. More than more than happy to sign a copy for yes. you. Yes, thank. You. We wish you all the best. Thank we, you. you know, we we want to continue to follow you, and I'm just excited about everything that's coming for you. Thank you so much. Um, so how can everyone follow you and reach you and get your CDs and you know what do you have coming up? Um, do you have any shows coming up? Maybe you could I, let the people know. Soon, I don't, I don't, and nothing's tentative right now. But you okay. can follow me on Instagram at chances are c h a n z i z r, uh, and find me anywhere online right now. This is just the beginning of the platform, so things are still ironing out. So you guys, Apple, you know, a lot of people like to spew off the Apple iTunes, Spotify, yes. Within the next couple months, you'll be seeing my stuff on Apple, iTunes, and Spotify. Uh, and anywhere, you know, everywhere. I, but one thing I do have to point on, the one thing I do have to say is that, you know, I, I love God. That's number one, right? It's first and foremost. I had to say that. And I feel grateful to be here with a lot of great energy around me right now. And second of all, this is a great opportunity and a great platform. A lot of people really didn't get the chance to make it. A lot of people won't make it. But it's always your decision. Make the right decision based off your life. Don't too, Try not to focus too much on who's around you and what they're doing. Don't even focus on the person oh, with a million hey, numbers oh, and a million shit. followers or what they want. Focus on your path mm-hmm. and focus That's on right. your goal. And do, I mean, even if, it, if, if, it, even if you stand alone and you got to do what you got to do by yeah. yourself. When I leave here, trust me, when I get out of here, I got to go back to work because that's just what it is. Like, I have responsibilities. Rap, that is, was... my, rap is my thing. This is what I do. But I have a responsibility to myself and the people that I work with. You know, it's about being a real leader. Mm-hmm. So I try to explain to people, like like you said, you have to be the boss and the worker. You can't, don't be embarrassed for being a worker. Don't be embarrassed for rolling your sleeves up and got to stay late nights. Also, you know what I mean? A lot of people see me. Please understand that, you know, I'm just a, a young woman from Newark. I'm coming out of Jersey. I've been a lot of places. I've seen a lot of different people. I want to give you guys all of me. You know, I want to give you guys all of me. 2018 is going to be a groundbreaking year from fashion to movies to film to music to whatever to e-commerce. It's another thing I want to touch on. My technology, e-commerce, I'm going to really do a fusion between music, fashion, and technology, okay? That's how I'm going to become wealthy because my plan in the game really is to become become extremely wealthy. So music is just a catalyst for me to be able to get out there to you guys to let you guys know what I really want to do. So you seeing me right now as an artist, as a rapper, looking like this. But just know that chances are Kiana Chance is coming. And I want everybody else to get into this vibe. Y'all heard it first right here at the Boss Lady Conference Radio.